down and made it probably about a quarter mile before I had to stop. And I literally felt like I was dying. And I tried to get my mom to go get the car and pick me up so I wouldn't even have to walk back. So after my very first traumatic, or my very traumatic first attempt at running, I was petrified to run cross country, but I decided to do it anyway because I didn't want to give up. I was coached by one of the best coaches I've ever had, Coach Brown, and he gave me the motivation I needed to keep improving. My best friend, Emily Betts, was my helping hand in cross country. From seventh grade till sophomore year of high school, when she moved to New York, she would call me down before every race, give the best advice, and get me through all things running. And I would not be the runner I am today without her. I made the greatest of friends in middle school cross country, and I just so happened to be sitting just behind me. We lost a few along the way, like Kelsey. <laughs> but I'm so grateful to have been able to grow as a runner for so much. <laughs> With Katie, Abby, and Natalie. It's been a long journey and we made it together. Running cross country in high school has been one of the best things I've ever done with my life and it taught me so much more than just running. It has taught me to push through anything that comes my way, that working hard is the only way to go and that good things don't come easy. I will never be able to explain the feeling of crossing the finish line with a PR or the genuine happiness I feel when I see a teammate hit the goal they've worked so hard for. The hardest point in the race, the daily laughter with my teammates, or the constant love surrounding me at every single practice, because those are the moments that only I can understand. Those are the moments that made up the best four years of my life, and the moments that made all the times of frustration, disappointment, and injury worthwhile. In my four years on this team, I met the greatest people I've ever come to know. There is no other team that can spend every day after school and weekends together and still want to hang out in the very rare spare time that we have. My team is the most supportive people you could ever find, and the only people who truly understand, because we go through the exact same things. At Clover League this year, I wanted to make it in the top 10 so bad for my race, because I wanted a medal my senior year of high school. I ended up coming in 11th place, so I didn't get my medal, and that night, Stanford Gessner showed up at my house with a homemade medal modeled exactly like the ones at Clover League. Only instead of it saying first or a place number, it says fiercest runner. I can't, I can't think of anyone other than a cross country girl who would do that for me, purely out of the kindness of their heart. To the parents who don't understand the significance, I always tell the girls before every race to run fierce. And it's become such a phenomenon that it's used basically every other sentence on the girls' team. So to my team, Thank you for being my support system and the ones who get me through the hard days. You made me want to be a better runner. I worked the hardest this year than I have any other year in hopes that if I did, it would encourage you to do the same. I tried to be the inspiration you guys needed when you were down, but you ended up being mine permanently. And I'm forever grateful for that. To my coaches, I'm so grateful for all you've done for me and the team, especially Coach Morris. Morris, you were there for us when we needed a coach, and you gave us so much more than just that. You gave us a friend, a mentor, and a supporter. You made me want to step outside my comfort zone and be the runner that I knew I could always be. To my family, I don't think I could have ever done any of this without you. Uncle Steve, there was just one of my biggest motivators in the last race of my high school cross-country career. You were there in the last 800 of my race screaming at me to go when I was exhausted and ready to give up my goal to get under 23 minutes. And because of you, I crushed that goal. And I don't know how I could ever thank you for that, but thank you. Mom and Dad, I am so blessed to have parents like you. You were at every single one of my races. Standing in the mud, out in the heat or cold, rain or shine, you were there. And seeing you there and hearing you cheer for me when I was tired and weak gave me that extra push I needed to run faster because all I ever wanted to do was make you guys proud. And I love you very much. To my senior, to my sisters, thank you for always coming to as many races as you could. Sis, it was always the greatest motivation to hear your voice screaming, come on, sis, you're so fierce during my races. <laughs> and Squirt, thank you for your hugs and always tagging along with mom and dad. I can't wait to watch you run one day, because well, I know you'll come around. <laughs> and finally, to Maria, my cousin and fellow teammate, you're one of the greatest people I've ever known. You're my biggest motivator, celebrator, consoler, healer, supporter, and believer. 
You're one of the hardest workers I know, and I'm so proud of you for all you've done and all you will do. You've become one of my very best friends, and I promise I'll be at every single race I can make it to when I'm home from college next year. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and I couldn't be more grateful to have run my last cross country season with you. I couldn't have done this sport if it wasn't for all the support of everyone in this room, and I'm really grateful for all the people who I've met and who supported me, and thank you for always believing in me. Thank <laughs> you.